WAC and Epified have come together to give you the truth of Nikola Tesla, the most underrated scientist ever. If there was one breakthrough moment that sparked a whole range of other inventions that led to modern life as we know it, then it's probably how man learned to generate electricity. Chances are that you learned in school that Thomas Edison invented the light bulb and harnessed electricity for household use. But we're sorry to say, your class teacher was wrong. 22 people were simultaneously working on the light bulb model. Edison just had the best marketing skills. Enter Nikola Tesla, the real man who perfected the light bulb. Tesla arrived in New York where he met with Thomas Edison and started working for him on the very same day. During his time working with Edison, Nikola improved and perfected 24 different types of machines which would replace Edison's models. What set apart Tesla's model off the light bulb was the fact that it was an alternating current, popularly known today as AC, which used thinner wires, had higher voltages, and could transmit electricity over long distances, as opposed to Edison's direct current electrical system, which required a power plant every two and a half kilometers and couldn't transmit electricity very far. Edison, who was trying to capitalize on the DC model, was obviously not pleased with the fact that Tesla's AC electrical system was better and far more efficient. This led to a conflict between the two. Not only did Edison betray Tesla by not paying him his share of money for perfecting the machines, he also started a smear campaign against Tesla's work by paying people to electrocute animals in order to demonstrate the dangers of an AC current. In October of 1893, the war between Edison and Tesla ended in the latter's favor after Tesla's AC motor was given the go-ahead to be used in a power station at the Niagara Falls. The facility was the first power station in the world to transmit naturally generated AC current over long distances. That's right, Tesla invented the first hydroelectric plant. The same year, Tesla's obsession with wireless energy transmission was first manifested in the form of the Tesla coil. In 1901, Wilhelm Röntgen was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for discovering the X-ray. The truth is that Tesla had already invented it but refused to perform medical experiments with them. In spite of this, Edison went on to materialize this idea by experimenting with X-rays on his assistant Clarence Daly, who unfortunately died of medicinal cancer due to overexposure to the radiation. In 1909, the Nobel Prize in Physics was awarded jointly to Marconi and Carl Ferdinand Braun for their contribution towards sending the first transatlantic message, which in today's world is also called the radio. All they did was duplicate Tesla's experiments and make a brouhaha about it. When Tesla heard about Marconi stealing his credit, all he had to say is, Marconi's a good fellow, let him continue. He's actually using 17 of my patents. In 1935, Robert A. Watson Watt gained recognition for inventing the radar. Tesla had already pitched the same technology to the U.S. Navy in 1917 during the advent of the World War I. At that time, Edison was the research and development head of the U.S. Navy. He ridiculed Tesla's idea by saying that it had no practical application in war. Fluorescent light, what many people call as tube light, also existed today because of Tesla. Tesla believed in free energy for the greater good of mankind, and hence he never patented any of his works. There are many statues of him around the world, but the one in Silicon Valley, California has free Wi-Fi for all within a 25 feet radius. It also has a time capsule under it which will be opened on January 7, 2043. In 1931, when he turned 75, he became the Time Person of the Year after many accolades, honors, medals, and even praises from the likes of Albert Einstein. The world lost Tesla at the age of 86, but his legacy lives on in the minds of people who devoted themselves to the greater good of humanity via innovation. His personality was expressed in his very own quote, I don't care that they stole my idea. I care that they didn't have one of their own. Like, comment and share this video. And for more wacky videos, subscribe to The Wack. And for videos on mythology and history, subscribe to Epified. It's hilarious. It kind of borders somewhere between satirical and slapstick. So there's like a little, you know, it kind of yo-yos. Shiva told her that she will have to be reborn to be the cause of Bhishma's death. She killed herself and was reborn as Shikhandi.